Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Gamer here, and this is Ghost Recon Wildlands Part 1. I'm super duper excited about this game because it looks truly amazing. So let's get right into this and start playing. I will be playing this cooperative with friends, so stay tuned for that. It will be coming very, very soon. It's just this is part one where I get to make my character. There's going to be a really long intro as well. So I won't be playing as much. It's more like just watching, getting to know the story. But here we go. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Let's get into this. I'm super excited, as you can tell. This is the cutscene that takes a really long time. So we will watch this, and then I will be playing with friends in part two, hopefully. So let's get into this, guys. I'll be quiet the whole cutscene, so just stay tuned. Catch you in a couple minutes. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. That thing's creepy. <laughs> that comes with the collector's edition, by the way. State. That statue. The nation of Santa Blanca. Ooh. That is so creepy. But it's so awesome at the same time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, that cutscene though. Last so he week, is like pretty much the ruler of Bolivia US right now, which is Bolivia. nuts. It's just a giant cartel of drug smuggling guys. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine <laughs> he industry. has he has because he that died Sandoval that's was terrible the intended target of the bombing what the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal sandoval was captured tortured and killed Ooh. then his body was dumped we have yet to recover it it's unidentified though Our so target, it might even not be him responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of special agent sandoval is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca That's Cartel. That's a lot of people. Oh man. Yesterday, they were just narcos. 147. Today, they're narco terrorists. Number four on the freaking Initially, most the wanted. Oh my god. The Mexican Cartel. They formed Unidad, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa That's Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production. Smuggling security and influence at the top of it all is el jefe de los jefes boss of bosses el sueño el sueño 
What's actually kind of creepy about this is that this is like realistic. Like there are actual places, like countries that actually smuggle drugs all the time and that's like what they're known for. So it's an actual real global, th not a threat, but it's not a good thing to have this in the real world. But this is just a video. Now, I'm pretty sure I get to make my own character, which, to be honest, this is going to take me like an hour, because I want to make him the way I want him to look. I'm obviously going to have a male, because I'm a guy. Uh, head, yeah, you have face, you have eye color, facial hair. You have all these different facial detail. You have all these different things. Appearances as well, by the clothes, uh, the clothes they wear, the accessories, the special outfits, the random outfit. Like, whatever the hell that is, I have no clue. This is going to take me a while, so I'm going to cut to the part where I actually made my character, and I will be back with you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, guys, so here's my character. I finally made him, although once over, as you guys can see. He's pretty much just like the stock character, so it doesn't really matter. But either way, I wanted to... What am I picking now? Okay, difficulty. Either way, though, I wanted to pick him, just have, like, a couple little neat things on him. He's got a couple tattoos. He's got a mohawk, which I think is pretty kick-ass. And uh, let's get into this. I will do regular because I don't feel like dying a crap load. I like to play games on regular because that's, like, the... It's in between the easy and medium phase. It's kind of like the medium difficulty. Like, it's a nice... Like, you get a really enjoying... Like, you, you enjoy the campaign a hell of a lot more than if you were to die... 24 7 <laughs> so let's get right into this let's see what happens after this loading screen actually loads and we finally get to actually do some action we'll actually get into the game and start playing i hear a helicopter definitely hear a helicopter Oh man, we're in a helicopter, yes, there I am, I also have the, uh, the, the patch of the American flag as well. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. <laughs> really? How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. Not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. Ooh. To be honest, the whole like voice to like mouth talking ratio, it's not adding up. Sure it's like you've seen the horrible fucked up shit humans are capable of. This game is brand new, it should be perfect, but, but it's let not. Let me tell you right now. No matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. El Sueño. I love saying that for some reason. El Sueño. Either way, though, I feel like we're gonna get shot down, but I don't think we are. <laughs> I don't know yet. He's got a religious street that reads pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. Chocha or chocha. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. 
to be honest, the beginning of this game is way too much talking. Like, I just want to actually get in here and start, like, doing some missions. I would skip through all this stuff, but I think, like, you guys really would want to see this to actually know what's going on, and so do I, because I have no clue. But it's just a little too long. Oh, look at those rocks in the, the right hand of the screen or whatever. There's, like, rocks stacked up. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we got this guy. He does not look good. Looks like trouble. I heard this is like one of the biggest open world games Four soldiers. in this sandbox, this the yeah, promised? I believe. That's on the well promised. A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. Ooh. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. <laughs> Did you guys see my so pants? I have the ghillie suit pants on. <laughs> that looks so funny. My confidence. They're like blowing in the breeze. We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Come Stop on, I want to play the game already. Let's go. Everything via sat phone. Literally, I think this video is going to be just this. I'm not even actually going to be able to play. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Okay, let me play now, please. Please no more, like, settings or options. Let me just play this. But before I do, I do have to go to the settings. <laughs> Either way, though. Oh, it's a truck and abandoned. There we go, baby. Let's do this. I'm so excited to play this. Oh, yes, here we go. Sweet. Can actually enter a vehicle. Nice. Okay, this is when the game gets good. People. Put on your game faces. I, tell you. I do want to go to settings fast. I do apologize. Let's go into these. Uh, I want to check these out. We have options, I guess that would be. Let's go to audio. Music, I, I'm going to turn all the way down uh, for copyright reasons because I really don't know music yet. But the game will still be fine without music, so don't worry about that. But let's go. Come on. This is taking forever. That's ridiculous. And do we have to actually apply? Yes, we do. We have to apply that. It's saving. Saving, saving, saving. We're good. Yeah, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op? No. Oh, okay. My bad. bad. End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find the Maru. Granada. Look at these things. Oh, we got sheep, or whatever they are. I think they're sheep, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, I was just looking around a little bit, getting familiar with the area. We can actually get in this. Hell yeah. Buckle up, people. Oh boy, driving is really weird in this game. Oh man, it's really weird. How do I change the radio? Okay, I don't want the radio on. Radio off. Oh boy. Oh, we're going down. Driving is extremely weird in this game. It's not you guys know like GTA. This is nothing like Grand Theft Auto at all Really bumpy and oh my gosh I'm not too sure when the co-op starts to play into effect like if this mission I can do on cooperative with a friend But I'm gonna do this mission anyway or at least get a little closer. No, that's like extremely far over there not too sure if I have to do this mission by myself, because some games you have to actually do missions by yourself before you can do cooperative with a friend. But, you know, uh, let's see. I never imagined we'd be 
is stealing vaccines and shutting down the relief agency. For real. This NGO is some diabolical shit. Here we are trying to help these people, but it feels like we're the bad guys. But don't lose sight of the fact that the only reason the cartel is doing this is because they're using the locals for their own ends. What's the alternative? We let these people starve? They've got nothing, man. And the government isn't going to step in. You and I both know that. I hear you, but if we do nothing, the cartel's gonna use these people as soldiers, farmers, and mules. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Okay, well that was easy. I killed him. Uh, let's get out of the car. Let's do this suppressor. How do I do suppressor? Uh, this one's already suppressed. Ooh, nice. We can use a drone as well. So, drone is up on the D-pad. Drone is airborne. Hi, oh boy. Hey, let's do this. Can they, can they spot my drone? I don't believe so. This is kind of like watchdogs. This is kind of cool. Oh, out of range, out of range. Oh boy. I can shoot them? I want to shoot this guy. How do I shoot him? Shooting is... Bah, 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 bah. Okay. Can I just like land on him? Oh, that didn't work. Tango down. Let's do this. Oh, there's chickens. We have chickens. <laughs> That's awesome. What is this? We have to tag the supplies. Oh, damn. The rebels can pick up these supplies later. Oh, I thought it was like a grenade or something. Oh man, dead people. Holy crap! That's nuts. Hey, look at that. His gun's in the wall. Oh, that's awesome. I got a narco over here. The watchtower, see? The watchtower, oh boy. Uh, can we get around here? Yes, we can. We have some stairs. Let's do this. Can I get around? I guess I can this way. Hostile down. That's close. That was close, gosh dang it. Oh, that's even closer. Go pere todo saldra bien. There's people down there. What am I supposed to do with this guy? I'm supposed to interrogate him, okay. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? <laughs> sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Oh, that's a threat. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. At least there's a lot of cars. Like, if you guys look on the mini map, there's like a look at all those cars down there. You can actually drive all these. That's awesome. I am gonna end the video here because I'm not too sure if I can do this in cooperative yet. So I want to figure that out, and hopefully I can, because I mean my friends can play, and it'll be that much better. Let's I'll be moving. talking a lot more, actually Cartel doing more. For us to track down and rescue Amaru. So the videos are going to be a lot better. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Don't forget to always like, comment, subscribe if you guys really, really enjoy the videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.